guys, Running Kimono here. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make a video on this subject and I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel. So a couple years back, a friend who lives in Chicago, um, her stockpile was in her garage and somebody had broken in and like just went shopping and took like all the expensive stuff, left the crap and just took off. And um, she was wondering if it was somebody in her neighborhood. Um, a lot of people around her knew she couponed. If they were watching, they would see, you know, her come out with paper products or bags and bags every weekend or whenever she was doing her shopping. But just like what an incredible violation of your home and your garage. And the person would just like, you know, pick and choose what they had or wanted. Um, and this friend told me that at the time, they didn't have any cameras. They did call the police. But it was one of these sort of things that if you're not really thinking about it, you kind of have to, you know, put some eyes behind your head for your security. Because if you are housing, um, you know, some of you ladies and gentlemen probably have a stockpile upwards of 10,000 plus. If you have valuables like that, people are always going to be looking. And even if, you know, you might think, oh, well, you know, it was really sweet people that live around me. Nobody would ever do this. You would be really surprised. And um, I'll never forget seeing these photos of my friends. And it's like the garage was cleared out. It was so heartbreaking. Okay, so what was the conclusion for my friend? Uh, she called the police. They filed a report, but then it just went cold. Uh, they never found who did this to them. And it was a lot of stuff that she lost. So it was pretty heartbreaking. Uh, the one good thing is that she was in Chicago and there's a huge coupon community there. So they helped her out. But it was... Um, she felt very violated and I would too. I've had my car broken into like two or three times and you get this really weird sensation when somebody's been in your space taking your stuff and playing around with stuff. I mean, it's the worst feeling. Um, obviously, the smartest thing to do is to have some sort of... Um, manifest of what you have just don't keep it all in memory but know what you have even if it's snapping a couple of photos of your stockpile with your phone just so say somebody's in your house doing some work and we've had some people in and out of our boiler room where I keep um my stockpile and I have photos and videos so if stuff goes missing even one bottle of shampoo I will know um and it's it's a it's a horrible thing to even be like that way but uh if I'm paying you you know 150 bucks an hour to fix something in my uh you know furnace room um I'm not giving you some tide on top of that you know uh that's how I feel uh and a lot of you might say you're greedy blah 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 but I just what's mine is mine if the person wanted it or was gonna you know take $10 off the bill because some of these uh, fees are quite excruciating and that's not happening. But anyhow, it's further from the story. Um, but you just really need to know what you have. Sometimes taking a visual quick photo on your smartphone and just keeping it in like a folder, uh, that's smart. And then also what I would recommend is if you are keeping your stuff in a garage, um, if it's a heated garage, I know that like in certain parts of Michigan, it gets so cold, everything would probably freeze. And you don't want your like liquid cleaners and Tide and stuff to freeze um, if it's a non-heated garage. But you know what I would absolutely do is um, get some sort of security system, even if it's a cheaper one, like the, the ring doorbell stuff uh, to monitor what you have. So if there is somebody in your personal space, um, in your home or whatever, the, the phone would be ringing to say, hey, something's going on at your house. If you work outside of your home, that sort of a thing, or if you know you're gone for the weekend, just so if something goofy would happen, um, you would be like told right away. Um, sometimes when we get these larger stockpiles, we don't know where to put all this stuff and a garage always seems like the most logical place. And of course, people, probably many couponers have had their homes broken into. And if this stuff goes missing, I mean, obviously, the, the person robbing your house would have to do a lot of trips if they were going to grab all that tide. That's at least uh, four or five trips up the stairs. So especially if you're in a neighborhood where you don't know everybody and, you know, if people are watching you all the time and sometimes you get that weird feeling. I know that a lot of us have that spider sense if someone's watching you. And I'm not saying to keep your stockpile under lock and key, but um, what I would absolutely do is really grow a set of eyes on the back of your head and at the very least get a ring doorbell you could find them on amazon and get one for the front and back of your home to at least monitor who is coming in and coming out and um maybe even in your garage if you wanted to as well um you can usually get a set of a couple of cameras and you can connect it all to your phone for under um like a couple hundred bucks um i invested in that and it's a little bit of peace of mind especially if we're out of town and 
you might think I'm ridiculous, the fact that I want to protect my stockpile, but I think my stockpile is probably at least 10 to 15,000. It was probably double that, but I've given so much of it away in the last year. But I mean, this is your stuff. I'm not sure about how you would ever insure this because I know that some people have insurance policies on their stockpile. Um, Just in case their house got flooded or burned down, you know, they would have something for that. You'd probably have to call your agent for that. But I think a couple girls do have insurance policies on that. I've heard about it in the past. So hopefully this video was somewhat insightful, especially if your stockpile is in a garage. Be careful. Grow some eyes behind your head and take some photos at the very least. Keep them in your smartphone so you have a catalog of what you have or what you don't have. Sometimes if people are coming in and coming out working in your home, we got a new bathroom put in our house about two years ago and there was a guy that was working for us and I just gave him the, uh, he wanted some Arm & Hammer detergent because he, he wouldn't stop talking about it and you know, hint received. I just gave him a couple of bottles. But let's say he just took half of a shelf of stuff just because and if I was out of the house, you know, I can't really monitor everything he's doing at the time. But I even have cameras if like something was missing, I could just go back and check, you know, and then have a really uncomfortable conversation the next day about that Arm & Hammer detergent. But um, I hope that this video was helpful, especially for those of you with larger stockpiles and definitely grow that set of eyes behind your head. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.